All right, so I'm going to go over Quizlet. That's just Q-U-I-Z-L-E-T.com. And Quizlet is a flashcard creator. Um, and it can be used a couple different ways. There are different functions of Quizlet. However, I've really only seen it used um, as a flashcard creator. And so teachers can create flashcards and then send a link to the students to study the flashcards, or students create, can create their own flashcards to help them study. So this is my homepage after I've made an account. And I'm just going to make a quick set just to show you how easy it is. So up at the top, once you log in, you have the create a set option. So I'm going to click create a set. And uh, we'll just, as usual, call everything test. So the, the title of it is test, and here's just uh, information, additional information about the set. Notice down here you can add pictures to your flashcards if you want. So if you want um, maybe a map or something like that to add and then have students uh, choose the, the country or whatever the map is pointing to. Um, you can do that as well. But we have two columns. Uh, and it doesn't really matter which column you put what in. I like to put the answers on the left side. And then the questions on the, the right. So we'll just say the answer is test answer. And uh, let's just... So I'm just creating questions and answers. And we'll do one more here, test answer three, and we'll call it test answer question three. So I've made my, my flashcards. This is one side of the flashcard. This is the other side of the flashcard. Very uh, basic, very basic. And if you want to, um, if you're doing vocabulary, then on the left side you would have the word, and then on the right side you would have the definition. But it, as with, with normal flashcards, you can put whatever you want on either side. So now I'm going to click Save. Oh, sorry, we'll choose the language here. We do want English. There we go. Save it. Now I have a flash uh, flashcards. If I want my students to have this link, up at the top here, you've got several different options. We'll just go to Share. And when you highlight share, you get a short URL, so a very short website link. If you just click that once, it highlights all of it, we'll copy it, and then we'll just open it up in a new tab. So if the students were to go to this, they would see um, something similar to this. If you click start here, if a student clicks start here, they now have the flashcards. first one, they would guess, they would flip it. Second one, they would guess, flip it. And so on and so forth. You can have as many as you want. Um, you can also do learn, which is like a little quiz. So here's my question, test answer question two. Here is my answer. We'll just okay, and I got it correct. Now if I get it wrong, I've got it incorrect. It says what I said, but it says the correct answer. And then the very last one. Here we go. So in round one, I got two out of three right, 67, I missed one. And you can do it again. So there's several different options to this. And it is very simple. It works on tablets. It works on devices. It even has an app for Quizlet. Um, but the easiest thing to do is just to, to have students go there. They can create an account. I believe they can even make flashcards without having an account. So they don't even need to log in or anything. Or you as a teacher just makes a set of flashcards, sends a link out to students, and then the students have something to study with. And again, it's just Quizlet. Q-U-I-Z-L-E-T dot com.